Hey guys, so today I've got an awesome little core workout for you. It's really going to target your lower abs. So the whole time you're doing it, really make sure to engage your core, think about what you're doing. Really um, focus on pulling your uh, belly button back when I say engage your core so that your abs kind of tighten up and you're using them. Like you're, The more you focus on using them and really just don't go through the motions, the more you're going to get out of the workout. So it's only going to be about 12 minutes, just a little bit under. Um, we're going to do five moves and we're going to go through four rounds. So I'm going to show you all the moves and then we're just going to start. So it's going to be quick. They're going to be short breaks and um, short intervals as well. So it's going to be a great little workout in 12 minutes. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is heel pops. So you're going to lie on your mat, heels to the sky, and we're just going to pop them to the ceiling. So if you need help with it, um, you can kind of use your legs, like roll them in for momentum a little bit. So kind of like that. But otherwise, just straight legs and towards the sky. Um, the next one that we're going to do is a pike in. So you're going to roll over and that's a plank. Um, variation, so you're going to be in a plank and you're going to hop in and out just like that. So right here, like that, really using your lower abs to kind of pull your butt up to the ceiling while you do it. Um, after that, we are going to do double dead bugs. <laughs> so we're going to go single, single, and then double. So just like that. And when you're doing these, you really want to focus on keeping your knees at 90. Don't just kind of do this or this. You want to have nice movement all coming from the hip joint, the hip flexors, rather than your knee angle changing. All right, so then after that, we're gonna flip back over and we're gonna do knee circles. So it's another plank variation, so you're gonna get in a full plank. And all we're gonna do is kind of circle the knee back out to a plank. So you're bringing it into your elbow and circling it back out to plank. So just like that. And then the last that we're gonna do, and my mat's gonna move the whole time, <laughs> but the last thing that we're gonna do is single leg raises. So whatever you want to do with your arms, you can put them under your butt a little bit if you need help keeping your back from arching a lot. Um, but we're just going to lower and bring it back up, lower the other one, and bring it back up. So just like that, and that's going to be it. So what we're going to do, and actually this is even going to be shorter than I thought because I had the wrong interval on, <laughs> the wrong rest. Um, so this is only going to be about 10 minutes, so just over 10 minutes. Um, so even a minute shorter than before. So that's awesome. But we're going to go ahead and start. So if you need to go back and watch those again, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, we're just going to go. Uh, we have a 20 second interval for each and then a 10 second kind of transition. So not a lot of breaks, but it's going to be awesome. We're going to fly through it. It's going to be so much fun for those lower abs. So the first thing we're going to start with is heel pops. And all you have to worry about is following along with me. I will tell you when to switch. So let's go ahead and go. Starting with those heel pops. So heels to the sky and go. So nice and high. Really use your abs to kind of pull up. Pop your heels up. And again, if you need to, you can kind of bend your legs and get a little momentum on there. All right, so we're already in a break. See, not bad at all. So we're going to pike in next. So flip over, full plank, and go. So pike your legs in. You're going to have a tiny bend in it, but you want to keep them as straight as possible and really use your lower abs to lift up towards the ceiling. So you don't want the whole movement to be a big bend and jump. You want it to be a nice little pop. Alright, and break. <laughs> These intervals are going very quickly. So we're going to do that double dead bug. So go. So you're going to tap down, tap down, and double tap down. So just like that. Down, down, and double down. <laughs> so pulling your belly button in, keeping your belly nice and tight. We're almost done here. This will be the last one. And double tap and done. All right, so we're gonna flip over for knee circles. So full plank, and you're just gonna bring your knee up and back out. And go. 
So up and back out. Keeping your core nice and tight. Keeping a nice pretty plank the whole time. And just keeping those legs going. You're gonna feel it in your abs so good. And break. All right, I'm gonna fix my mat. <laughs> and we are gonna do those single leg lowers. And we will be starting those in one second. So ready? Drop one and drop the other. And just alternate, keeping your core nice and tight. Your back, keeping it nice and controlled. You don't want it to arch really huge when you're lowering your leg. You wanna try and keep it on the ground. And break. All right, so that's already one round. So we're down here already. We're gonna go back to heel pops in two seconds. So ready? And heel pop. So heels to the sky. Nice and controlled lowering. You don't want to flop back down to the ground <laughs> and crush your butt against the floor every single time. Your tailbone will probably start to hurt. <laughs> anyway, so two more seconds here. Last one. Awesome. So we're going to flip over for pike ends. Straighten this again. <laughs> All right, so nice, using your lower abs here, and go. So just hopping in and out. Legs are fairly straight. You're gonna have a little bend in the knee. You never wanna be rigid. <laughs> Being rigid in your movements makes it a good chance you're gonna get hurt. And last one, awesome. So we're gonna flip back over on our backs and do the double dead bugs. And we will start those now. So tap down, tap down, and double down. <laughs> Just keeping your knee at 90 degrees, keeping your belly button pulling back towards your spine, and just lowering and lifting. And this will be the last set of these, or the last one. All right, and now we're gonna flip over for knee circles. And we will start those right now. So circle up and back, bringing your knee up to your elbow and then putting it back in plank, keeping your core nice and tight here, staying in as nice of a pretty plank as you can, everything tight and break. All right, so we're gonna go back down. We're going to do those single leg raises lowers. I alternate between what I call them <laughs> and start. So one down and the next one down. Leg raises. I guess this is technically a leg lower <laughs> since we're starting it high and tapping the ground. I'm forever calling those things the wrong name. And this will be the last one and done. All right. So we are halfway through, we're going back, oh, we're staying on the mat, we're going back into those heel pops. <laughs> and we will start them now. So heels to the ceiling. Just keep on popping your hips up off the ground and a nice controlled lower. So you really wanna use your abs to keep your butt from hitting back to the ground really hard. <laughs> so just heels to the sky, pop them up, and done. All right, so we're going to flip over for pikeins. And we are going to start those right now. So hopping in and out. Really engage your core here. Use your lower abs to pull your butt up towards the ceiling. Almost done with them. Five more seconds. Keep on piking in and break. All right. My mat will not stay still, but that's okay. We're gonna roll back around for the dead bug, double dead bug, and go. So one down, other down, double down. All right, nice right angle here. We're almost done. We only have one more round after we finish this round, <laughs> and we're halfway through it already. So this will be our last, let's double down, and then we're gonna be done. All right, and so we're gonna flip back over and do knee circles. And we're gonna start those now. 
So circle up and then bring it back to plank. Keeping nice and tight in your core so that your plank is beautiful for the whole interval. You're doing awesome. We're almost done. And we're gonna do our last one and that's it. So we are now going back to the single leg lowers. <laughs> Not raises, so ready? Let's go. One down, and the next one down. So just nice and tight here. Core engaged, back on the ground. Don't let it arch. And we're just gonna raise and lower for the next three seconds only. We're almost done. And then we're in the next round. And done. Okay, so this is our very last round. Flew by, I know. <laughs> we're going to heel pops, and we're gonna do that right now. So pop the heels, and since it's our last round, we are going to take five seconds off of our break because that's so much fun to do. <laughs> so we're gonna add five seconds to each interval and take it off the break. So it's our power round. <laughs> so we have five seconds left here. Just keep on heel popping. You're almost done. After this, this is it. All right, so we're gonna flip around quickly and go into pipe jacks. So ready, and go. You're gonna pipe jack for the last time. So really focus on engaging your core, getting in as many as you can. You're doing amazing. This is it. This is the last time you're gonna be doing these. I know you love them. <laughs> Who doesn't? Besides me. <laughs> All right, and two, and last one, and done. All right, so we're gonna flip back over for those dead bugs. And we're starting them now. So tap, tap, double tap. So here again, don't let your back arch, especially when you're double tapping. People tend to wanna let it arch, but make sure you focus and don't do that. <laughs> Puts a little more strain on your back. We're almost done. This will be the last tap. And we're flipping over for knee circles and getting that plank and go. So just nice, full plank the whole time. And just keep on steady, nice and controlled movement of the knees. We've got five more seconds. And then we are going into those single leg lowers and here we go this is the last time last one legs up and tap keep your back on the ground keep your core engaged and just tap it out for the last mm, 11 seconds <laughs> you're almost done so feel the abs working this is it the final interval and done. Yay! All right. So that was our quick little lower ab burner. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it and <laughs> that you'll come back and do it again. Um, a great way to use this if you want to pair it with something else is maybe if you want to do upper body abs or lower body and abs, it's just great little to tack on to any other workout, maybe after some cardio, intervals, <laughs> whatever you want to do. Or maybe if you just don't have time and you only have 10 minutes and you want to work your lower abs, that's great too. But I hope that you enjoyed it and thank you so much for doing this workout with me. I will see you next time.